Hi, in this lesson, we'll talk about how to add and remove items from an array. In the previous lesson, when we created arrays, we added a set of elements upon creation and then accessed each element with its index. Here's an example where we created an array to store items found while foraging in the woods. So what if the player finds another item and we want to add it to the array? What if they find a mighty melon or some bouncing berries? On the other hand, what if we wanted to remove an item? Maybe the player ate the hardy heron to gain some help. Introducing the insert and remove methods. All arrays have built-in methods or actions that we can use with them. The insert method allows us to add elements to the end of an array, and the remove method allows us to remove elements from an array. To insert and remove from an array, we can access the table library. We can call on the table library by writing table dot, and then we either use the insert or the remove method. Let's take a look at these methods more closely. We can use the structure shown here to add an item to the end of an array. We start with the table keywords table dot insert. Then in parentheses, we add the name of the array and the item you want to add. Lua also enables us to add an item at a specific index into the array. You can do this by adding a third parameter between the array name and item. Now, if you only include two parameters, Lua defaults to adding the item to the end of the list. Let's apply this to our foraging items array. Here's our starting items array. We can use the table.insert method to insert a new item, Mighty Melon. Note how we only include two parameters here, so this adds the item Mighty Melon to the end of the array, giving it an index of four. So if we were to print the value of the items array at the fourth index, we would get Mighty Melon. Now let's add another item to the item list. Let's add Bouncing Berries. Notice how this time we include that third parameter between the array name and the item name. This means that the bouncing berries value is added as the first index. Everything else is bumped up an index. This is an important thing to consider when deciding where to add a new item. Adding the item at the end keeps all of the original indexes the same, while adding the item anywhere else can impact the indexes of the other items. So now, if we print the value of the items list at index 1, we'll get bouncing berries. Now let's take a look at the remove method. We can use this structure here to remove the last item of an array. We start with the table.remove keywords. Then in the parentheses, we add the name of the array. Similar to the insert method, in Lua, we can also remove an item at a specific index by adding another parameter after the array name. Let's apply this to our foraging items array. Here is our original items array. Now let's say the player uses one of their items. We can use the table.remove method to remove the last item in the array, which is the lazy lizard here. So now our array contains two items, sneaky snails and hardy herring. If we were to try to print the value of the items array at index three, well this time we're going to get nil because there's no longer a value at index three. But let's say the player uses another item from their inventory. So we can use the remove method again. This time the player eats the sneaky snails to increase their stealth. Because this is the first item in the array, let's add a parameter for the index of the value we want to remove. Sneaky snails is the first index, so we can input the parameter of one in addition to the array name. Now we just have an array of one item. So when we print items at index one, we'll get hardy herring. One last note about arrays. You can create an empty array at the start of a program that you plan to add items to later on. You can do this by creating a variable to store the array and then assigning the variable an empty set of curly braces. Then during your program, you can use the table.insert method to add items to the array. Let's walk through this code snippet line by line. 
Here we're repeating the loop 100 times, and during each loop, we generate a random number between 1 and 100. Then we add this random number to the numbers array. So when we're done with the loop, we now have an array with 100 randomized values. Great! Now that you know all about how to add and remove items in an array, it's your turn to give it a try.